home day. Hey folks, welcome to another unboxing with yours truly, Sam Healy. Today we're going to take a look at EOS, Island of Angels. This is a game that uh, Gray Fox Games has sent me for review. And it is also from Felix Murticat, King Raccoon Games, a guy that I got to meet at S in one year. He's a phenomenal personality, great guy to be around, uh, and he's a pretty freaking good designer as well. So uh, I'm interested in this one. Let's crack it open. So starting off here, we're going to take my trusty grapefruit knife and rip that right open. And so starting off with the artwork on the outside of the box, it is something else. I really like the look of this game. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know what it is. The artwork just pops for me. So I'm really looking forward to uh, getting getting into it. As you can see, the artwork on the side just kind of continues to pop. Uh, I really like the style that is exemplified here. So as you can see, it's really a neat artwork uh, that, that goes into this. So uh, popping over to the other side, you have the uh, general idea of what the uh, game's going to look like here with the uh, board out here, some different cards and all that kind of stuff, some player boards over here. Uh, so what's the idea? In ancient times, powerful angels held strong against uh, demonic creatures crawling out of the abyss on the island of Eos. One day, though, they were tricked. The angelic guardians were turned into stone, and demons flood the world ever since. So, this is an asymmetrical engine builder with exciting exploration mechanics for one to five players. Um, as an adventurous captain, lead your crew into the unknown and make the world a better place by awakening the angels of ancient times who have been petrified in battle against the hosts of demons. Fight monstrous demons and perform various heroic deeds to bring the light back to the darkness ridden world. So that's a cool theme. One to five players, ages 14 and up, 90 plus minutes. So it's going to say it's basically about 30 minutes per player. Uh, I'm liking the look of this so far. Let's hop into this box. All right, so here's the rule book. And it looks like uh, we're going to just take a gander through this as usual. So you get the idea, table of contents, you have... Uh, uh, component list here, setup, uh, looks pretty involved for setup, so that's going to be fun to get through. Overview of the game, turn overview of the game, uh, heroes and heroic actions, uh, chronicle actions and events. Uh, there's a good picture for you sh showcasing that artwork. I like it. So just a quick gander through the rule book so that you get an idea. Wow, there's a lot of info here. Small font, so we'll have to see how it's going. Um, uh, deluxe game components. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I don't know if I have deluxe game components, but we're a bat fan there. All right, so here we have a, looks like, turn overview and action symbols. So this is kind of a, huh. Well, that's interesting. This is a player aid, but it's almost like a player pamphlet aid. A uh, pamphlet player aid. Hmm. All right. Well, that's cool. And then we have, looks like, the board, which has this little styrofoam holder in there. I don't know if that's going to carry over or not. But, ooh, it's double-sided. I like that. So you have one side that looks like this. And then you have another side that looks like that. So maybe daytime and nighttime or something to that effect. But I like the way this is looking so far. All right. So there's that styrofoam placeholder. We'll see if we need to have that back. Um, these are just a bunch of uh, looks like units of some kind. Maybe these are the bad guys. Uh, I can't tell, and I don't, haven't read the rule book yet, but these pop right out. And uh, the thickness of these 
is pretty good. It's uh, uh, they're thicker than normal, not as thick as I've seen in other games, but um, these are nice. Uh, these are nice uh, uh, cardboard components, uh, not not flimsy at all. So I like it. Um, so just different. Uh, looks like some type of tiles, uh, units, maybe uh, different kinds of. Uh, in-game evaluation, Chronicles of EOS. So these are just different things that go go around the board, I would imagine. Um, player tokens, so forth. So there you have that. So here are, it looks like the player boards. Let's see here. Um, ooh. Again, man, the artwork is just really nice on these. So this is one of the players, Kusan, and I guess this is the captain's name, and then this is the crew that they have with them, I would imagine. And then we have Quanan, kind of like sea creature type uh, crews, the Guild of Seafarers. So it looks like one of the human factions. But again, that artwork is just really nice. Uh, let's see, the Queendom of Maspan. The Queendom of Mespan. That's cool. I like. I like it. And then Noom. I don't know what Noom means, but it's cool. I like. I like the look of this game, man. So that's that. And then we have some more styrofoam dividers here. And okay. These are neat little poiples or pawns. Silica gel. So these are just regular old school uh, pawns that are going to be used on the board. I like it though. They're made out of wood. Nice. And we have some cubes. So, oh, oh some of them are discs. Oh, silica gel. And then there's a Kraken model or some type of tentacled beast model thingy there. So there's some white cubes, some black discs, and that little monster thingy there. I don't know what that is. But there you have it. These look like they're going to be player cubes of some kind. Silica jewel. But player cubes of some kind, these are wooden as well. So it looks like this does not have the deluxe components. Maybe I'm, maybe I could be wrong, but probably not. Yeah, nope. Deluxe components are mm, oh, so not here. Not that I can see, at least. Anyway, here's some standees, and then a bunch of um, well. I've got some ships and some more silica gel and a bunch of uh, Ziploc bags. So here we go. Let's see if I can get into this. Okay. Oh, wait, did I get it? Nope, I sure didn't. Trusty grapefruit knife to the rescue. And oh no. Yeah, there we go. All right. Sometimes those little ribbons just don't work the way they're supposed to. Nothing we can really do about it. So we have just a bunch of uh, different kinds of cards that are here. A safe bet. Um, looks like, okay, so there's some solo mode cards. So there's that. And then a bunch of these cards. I don't know what they are. That's what the backs look like. On the other side, oh, maybe these are event cards. Um, the active player gains this and so forth. So different kinds of things going on there. Uh, maybe treasure cards. Not sure. But man, oh, those look like maybe... Oh, these are probably in in-game scoring conditions or something to that effect. Um, and then we've got uh, some of these things. These look like they might be different players. 
but different things for different players different abilities and so forth so there's a whole bunch of those um, that's one deck of cards and then we have another deck of cards in here as well all right this one is half open already so that's neato um, this looks like these have a number two on them so maybe these have a different number no they all have the number two on them as well so not sure what these cards are but there's a lot of them in here so looks like there's just maybe there are uh, different things that you can do movement cards and so forth maybe uh and then we have this oh did i get that open oh i almost did well there we go came right open with that trusty grapefruit knife and we have a whole bunch of uh, little cards. These have threes on them, as you can see, and there's a, you know, different symbols on them, but generally speaking, looks like they might be like tools or something to that effect as you go through, but there's a good stack of those as well. Um, we have a, a custom die in here. That's pretty neat. And then, nope, I was wrong. We have one more pack of cards. And that little sucker is not going to come open very easy, so I had to immediately use my grapefruit knife because there was no ribbon to fiddle with here. Looks like these might be angel cards, or now it looks like they're looks like they're angel cards. So artwork on here is kind of a, a different style. It's pretty interesting though. Let me get these out of the way so we can kind of show them in here a little bit just to give you an idea of what the different uh, angel cards are going to look like. Again, I really like this artwork. So it's pretty neat. Just giving you an idea of what's here. And that looks like that's the end of the uh, um, that's the end of the angel cards. Then you have some different Looks like ships that are out here. Um, looks like a Kraken monster. Uh, ghost captain. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Um, so, again, these cards are pretty neat. I like the size of them. And I like how they really showcase those that artwork as well as they do. So, and looks like the demons are in the back of this. So, this is a neat looking game. I'm looking forward to getting this one to the table. This has been EOS. Thanks for joining us. We certainly appreciate it. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Until then, you take care.